deep fake video rob with another one salute so like i was saying i'm not telling any secrets or anything like that to have the 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 the, the alphabet boys or the big dogs to uh pretty much keep me in this program but the thing is you have sleepers and i would say probably 80 percent of the people are sleepers you feel me a lot of people are waking up this is technology old technology this technology is old as hell it's just layman's don't know about it so they suppress the knowledge that you have but the ones that are woke we know about it and they don't like that because they want to use it in their own nefarious for their own nefarious reasons so let's just check it out with patents i'm showing you you got the grants you got uh the application numbers you got the you know what i'm saying the inventors everything this is no secret it's just people are sleep on it you sleep and that's by design the same frequencies they're using to keep you nullified dummy down stupid that's why when i say stupid that's what i mean they're using this tech to keep you stupid uh, subliminals, methods of inducing mental, emotional, and physical states of consciousness include specific mental activity in human beings. This one is wild. Again, 1990 seems like a pretty popular year for obtaining these patents. A method having applicability in replication of desired consciousness states in the training of an individual to replicate such a state of consciousness without further audio stimulation and in the transferring of such states from one human being to another through the imposition of this is human to human interface basically this is possession this is where you get the phantom touching that i was talking about they use these in a lot of sex occult rings where the person is avataring your body this is real shit this ain't some made up shit. These are US patents. You're gonna learn today. One individual's EEG superimposed on desired stereo signals on another individual by inducement of a binaural beat phenomenon. And again, this is pretty complicated stuff, but they have all the graph. Those were the patterns that I was telling you about how they can read and know what you're thinking. Those patterns lead up to symbols and pictures and into the supercomputer so they can actually tell what part of the brain is being activated and what you're basically thinking or predicting your by your uh your uh what do they call it? Uh your profile. You know what I'm saying? By picking up certain parts of the brain lights up and it gives these um waves and they can determine through the waves. It's almost like what do they, uh, what do they used to use back in the military days? The uh, the beep 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 beep, and they were able to tell, you know, little. I forgot the name of it, but you guys know what I'm saying. Telegraphs or something like that. You know, um, outlining. Here's the left right brain, the maximum the altitude, uh, brain map of the neocortex, the various uh, frequencies that need to be applied in order to achieve this and it goes on nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors check this one out physiological effects have been observed in a human sub uh, subject in response to stimulation of the skin within weak electromagnetic fields that are pulsed with certain frequencies near half a hertz or 2.4 hertz such as to excite a sensory resonance Many computer monitors and TV tubes, when displayed pulsed images, emit pulsed electromagnetic fields of sufficient amplitudes to cause such excitation. It is therefore possible to manipulate the nervous system of a subject by pulsing images displayed on a nearby computer or monitor or TV set. For the latter, the image pulsing may be embedded in the program material or it may be overlaid by modulating a video stream. So the, the TV programmers, you know, don't even have to be aware that their television program is uh, potentially subliminally um, affecting uh, people's uh, psyche here because of the uh, pulse uh, frequencies that they're emitting back to the human brain. And this is what I've been trying to explain to y'all. 
when you stand in front of a television, it emits radiation. And through the radiation signals, these are frequency signals, they wave like this. And in the waves, they can program. That's the way it works. It, they're programs in these waves. Now, this was filed uh, back in 2001 to be able to do this from monitors. Method of an apparatus for inducing desired states of consciousness. Once again, this is improved methods in an apparatus for entertaining human brain patterns, employing frequency following response or FFR techniques, uh, facilitate attainment of desired states of consciousness. So here, again, we've got more uh, diagrams of all the various tests they've been doing, the, the brain wave scans, because these are again experiments that have been put into practice these are very very lengthy explanations here of how all of these things work method in an associated apparatus for remotely determining information as to a person's emotional state in a method for re i'm gonna just leave it on that but as you can see these are the patterns these are the days that the patterns came out now remember this is not the day or the, the year that it was invented. This technology is probably more than 50 years old or older. Deep fake. You roger that. You're going to learn today.